Thanks for joining us this morning on Living Local. I am so excited. We are here in downtown Conway chatting with Tommy Simpson, who is a muralist, right? Yes, I guess you could say. I yes. just learned what that was. I was saying mural artist, but there's actually a term, muralist. It would work, but muralist is, I guess that's the well, proper term, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're here on Main Street, and so there's lots of road noise and fun going on, but we're in this beautiful courtyard right uh, in front of one of his awesome murals. That's the old shoe fly train. It used to run up Main Street in the 1880s. Wow. And, uh, and that's the scene, actually. That house on the far left, that was the old Ori Herald newspaper. Oh, fine. Which was about half a block to the, to the right from where we're sitting. I've been doing murals for years. Okay. Oh, a long time. Um, <clears throat> I feel a lot of people, they say, I used to paint billboards back in the late 70s when we painted billboards. Uh, and then through the I don't the know 80s. if I knew that. Oh, yeah, it was, well, billboards were hand painted. Wow. Either in the shop or on site. Some of the same billboards, there's some billboards around now that I painted when I was 19 years old. So I'm, I'm curious about kind of the process of, of painting one of these. Do you, you know, do you have a smaller scale of what it's supposed to look like and then you go off of that? Yeah, you just try to do, you do a sketch to scale if possible to present, you know, mm -hmm. a proposal and whatnot. So how long? do these usually take? Uh, something this size, uh, give or take a month. A I think month. I was between three weeks and four weeks on this. What I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around is how you transfer this large scale and not totally mess it up. Like how do you keep the, the right dimensions and how do you see the bigger picture with it being so large? Oh, uh, there's always a few tricks to the trade, you okay. know. Um, if, uh, if I have the area like I had here, I take, uh, you know, an old-fashioned projector, and I'll project an image. I'll do clear oh. acetates, you know, the old-fashioned school projector. Yes. Yeah, because I'd like to sit here and say, oh, I just draw it by hand. I do sometimes that a lot. But then do you have to do it at night then, so you can yeah. see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, many times, like <laughs> when, I, when I did this, I was in the middle of the street out there, and uh, yeah, that gets interesting. And then, you know, what is this kind of vent thing? I know you uh, kind of painted yeah, over that. Yeah, that's exciting. That vent, actually, it wasn't there. We, that's the last thing we did. That vent goes into the coffee house behind this wall. Oh, cool. And when they roast coffee, they vent the smoke out of that vent. So in the wintertime... <laughs> so it looks uh, like can, it's actually they did it a real now, train. Yeah, you see the smoke. But in the wintertime, when it's cool, the steam is so, is so it, 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 intense and it's yeah. so makes it a huge cloud oh, and it seems fun. like it's steam coming from the train so that, that is so cool that's really a lot of fun to see so now we are about a block away from the train that we just saw and we are now at papa's general store so i love this one because it has that cool kind of old school vibe there's a lot of colors involved i use acrylics because there's, there's more option okay without having a fortune in you know oils so he oh, yeah. you know we have a little vent here so he made a little brick thing on top of that with a chicken. It's your pet chicken, right? I had a pet chicken once named Francis, and that's, uh, that's Francis. It's Francis. So, so you yeah. got to come see Francis in Conway. Yeah. And this is only one piece. So if we walk down here a little bit, um, there's a whole nother side of the mural. Oh, yeah, this is this is the imaginary part. This is, uh, this is just what could have, would have been here in a general store maybe 100 years ago. Now, a lot of young people actually see this Indian going like this. You know what they say? Oh, is he taking a selfie? Oh, <laughs> like, no. No, those are cigars. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then we have one other. We talked about the, the ferry over here. I keep calling it a ferry, but you keep that's calling it a paddle it wheel. Paddle wheel. The paddle wheel. Steam. Paddle wheel is steam. more, it's, yeah, it's more, that's it's more of an accurate term. It's a paddle wheeler. I love this one. This one's been around the longest, and of course, someone else um, did it first, and then you kind of refurbished it. Jim Frazino did it, and the, uh, the dates on it. 1983, 
is when it was done the first time. Thank you so much, Tommy, for meeting with us today. This has been so much fun for me. I was so excited to get with you today. We got some cool little insight tips from you, and also, you know, some cool little things about each one, so now when people come down and see them, they can say, hey, there's the Indian that's not yeah. taking a selfie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for Living Local today. If you'd like to contact Tommy, just visit the information on your screen. We'll be right back.